My name is Salman Hussain. I'm the coordinator of the TEAB program, which is the Economics of Ecosystems and Biodiversity, which is housed in the UNEP office in Geneva. And the reason I'm here today to talk about agroecology is because TEAB is launching a study called the Economics of Ecosystems and Biodiversity, Agriculture and Food. And the aim of this study is to make the benefits um, that agriculture realizes and receives from ecological systems visible and vice versa what we call in jargon terms the positive and negative externalities from agriculture. Now the reason this links in particularly well with agroecology is because there's a strong movement towards agroecological systems which provide all kinds of intangible benefits and especially social and cultural benefits. What we're trying to do in terms of the TEEP study is make those benefits visible using an ecosystem service approach. It isn't enough, I think, to say that we simply want these systems, we have to justify these systems and oftentimes we need to evaluate these systems as well, both in monetary and non-monetary terms. Because in the absence of that monetary and non-monetary valuation, we'll find that we can be preaching only to the converted. So the aim of the TEEP study overall is to present an evidence-based, science-based research platform to discuss alternative systems across a range of social, cultural and ecological gradients, so in a variety of different countries, to look at what the benefits of alternative systems are, with the overarching goal, of course, to maintain food security um, overall, given the needs and aspirations of uh, peoples around the world. Mm -hmm.